All right, welcome to the Southern Virginia Homestead. We're out here in the garden today, and I wanna do a pepper short. It's gonna be a very short video. These are Sugar Rush Red peppers. One's down here are a little bigger, but we got some real small ones. These are the only hot peppers I planted. So here's another one for size reference. My finger here. These will ripen lipstick red. So as you can see, they're in a raised bed. And I'm going to put you on pause. Okay, we are over here. And I have that same Sugar Rush Red. I have a few of them in a pot. I had an extra Halesia, which is a sweet pepper, which is right there, the bigger pepper. These, you can see they're orange, and you can see they're much bigger. And here I've got a couple that are ripening red. Now these Sugar Rush Reds were the same as the ones in the raised bed. They were started from the same seeds on the same day inside. They were transplanted and planted outside on the same day in this pot and in the bed. I got a weed whacker on the pot. I got some grass, so it's shading the pot a little now, but for the most part, it's in the sun. Now I suspected this for years that the sun heats up the black pot heats up the soil and that the warm soil accelerates the pepper growth and I'd read that peppers like extremely warm soil and so in my mind this proves it so I'd had them in previous years perform that way and I thought that was the case but I'd planted them at different times and uh, sometimes different batches so I couldn't be 100% sure but these, they went the exact same day and same batch, same starts. And then you can see these, my sweet peppers, are growing very well. I've got Edgevarsky, Alessia, and these were supposed to be banana. I don't know why they're orange. And some of them have a very distinct hot to them. And I only hot peppers I planted were the Sugar Rush Red. The learning curve continues. What I think happened was I'm too close. I mean, I got to be 50 feet and 50 feet from that one. But apparently, I think they cross pollinated. I'm not 100% sure of that, but I can't explain why those are turning orange and why they're hot. Unless one of the packages was mismarked. But I get the seeds from Baker Creek that's been pretty reputable. And so I don't anticipate that being the case, but I don't know. Thanks.